Dow Jones and Nasdaq both have seen a good drop and uh, in fact, US 30 has taken the support at 33,930 levels, 33,900 levels. At the same time, US 100 has gone close to 11,750 levels. So what to expect today? And uh, now we have seen the uh, higher low support from the previous strong support zone and hence can we expect a bounce back or is it going to drop again if you have switch position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profit so do like share subscribe and comment do press the bell icon let's start first we'll look into nasdaq 100 followed with dow jones do watch till the end do listen to it carefully do note down the levels on the early charts after a good drop see this was the retracement and now it is again trying to take a direction yes if you see it trading below 11780 you can again short for 11750 levels which is a very good support and below that you can expect another round of good drops See this zone at 11740 is going to be a very good support levels on the upside we can see it has created the wall earlier and with that as well it has seen a good drop now it is even if it tries to retrace it has to breach past this zone at 11980 12000 for it to sustain the bullish momentum look at the directional movement this is divergent bearish stock i stick overbought and looking downwards again on the early charts the macd is looking forward to a bullish cross rsi trading at the bottom trying to look downwards again and enter into overbought sold zone now look at the early two hour chart see on the two hour charts lower highs are getting created and now see this is trying to erase the gains from what it has seen earlier now if you see 11500 that is the maximum support so first it has to trade below 11750 levels 11740 levels below that 11700 and 11600 these are the two supports and then 11500 will come into picture now look at the two hour charts sharp drop retracement of three candles and now with lower highs it is again trying to tra trade with a minor drop now once it trades below the zone at 11750 yes you can sell there at 11750 and then we can expect 11700 600 and 500 levels 500 is going to be another maximum support directional movement is divergent and bearish stochastic was oversold now looking upwards and if you look at the MACD, this is bearish trying to converge RSI trading flat and if you look at the 3 hour charts likewise on the 3 hour charts but on the 3 hour charts at the same time we had seen a reversal candle here and this was also consolidation and it has tried to breach it out or break out out of this zone and hence till the time it trades above 11800 which is very good support probably we can initiate a buy position here but then on the upside 11840.50 zone first resistance and then 11920 second resistance then 11980 levels to be seen so this is one probability at the same time trading below 11740 you can expect a good drop so rather i will say in between 11740 and 840 do not trade for this 100 points directional movement divergent bearish stock is coming out of the oversold zone macd is bearish trying to converge rsi trading flat and if you look at the four hour chart now look at the four hour charts lower highs and at the same time this previous lows were almost at the same zone it appears that it is going to be a very important support zone till 11700 levels and below 11700 600 500 are the next support and below that a good crash can be seen so right now it appears it is trying to erase the gains however one must not forget let me show you something here see lower highs lower lows so it is trying to trade in this channel for which 11650 600 is going to be maximum support zone from there again it can bounce back directional movement divergent and bearish stochastic trading near to the bottom and or near to the oversold zone macd is bearish trying to converge from here the rsi is looking downwards here and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily on the daily charts we talked about lower highs and we talked about higher lows here see this is the potential after this bullish candle it has shown you this flag and hence which also makes us apprehensive that till the time it trades about 11740 possibility exists that it can reverse and only bullish confirmation is if it trades beyond 12,000 levels yes if you see it trading about 12,000 certainly bullish momentum can be seen at the same time look at the daily charts see on the daily charts higher lows higher highs and the support there at 11,600 is maximum so yes if you see it trading below 11,740 you can expect 11,700 then 11,600 which is the maximum support and then 11,500 levels to be seen on the upside the resistance there here at uh 11 12000 is very very strong but yes you can buy at 11 840 and expect 11 880 920 970 and then 12000 levels as the next resistance level so do not trade in between 740 and 840 for the day in between these 100 points let's be cautious let's take a more safer stance in between these 100 points 
So trade accordingly, trade with the stop loss, trade with the tailing stop loss, trade as per the levels. Now let's have a look at Dow Jones. The US 30 achieving 33,850 has shown the reversal candle and since then it is retraced. Now it is falling shy here to sustain above 34,000. Only buy position I will recommend is above 34,100 beyond that 34,200 is the next target and then we can see see there are walls getting created and hence 34,300, 400 zone is something which it has to pass by for it to sustain the bullish momentum. The directional moment here is bearish the stochastic is overbought looking downwards from here. The MACD is looking forward to a bullish cross here on the early charts and then it indicates that it may try to retrace a bit before it looks forward to any drop. 34,100 appears achievable before it looks forward to any further drop and then 34,200 these two levels if it sustains possibly we may see more bulls there. Till the time we have to stay cautious RSI is trading oversold here and if you look at the 2R charts on the 2R charts too. See one observation on the 2R charts is that the bulls are trying to keep it low see uh, a smaller body size there and yes only and only if see this appears 34050 is giving it a good resistance and beyond that 34100 level so this this zone if it passes by certainly you can expect 34200 and plus plus levels till the time we have to stay cautious directional movement is here you can see bearish divergent stochastic was trading oversold now trying to rise the MACD is bearish and trying to converge the RSI is trading near to the bottom there. Now if you look at the 3R charts, on the 3R charts see a uh, flat opening there and higher highs in the previous two candles. Possibility exists that it may try to uh, achieve 34100 levels before it looks over to any further drop and beyond 34100 you can expect that 34150, 200 if these two levels are taken you can consider that this may try to trade bullish. You can expect 34, 300 and 410. Beyond 34, 410, it is certainly going to remain bullish. Directional movement, divergent and bearish. Stochastic was trading oversold. Now looking outwards, now looking upwards. MACD is bearish and trying to convert. The RSI is trading uh, downwards, looking downwards. Now look at the 4R charts. On the 4R charts, you can find, see higher lows are seen. And with that, so on the 4R charts, Two, it appears it is trying to retrace and only bearish entry today is below 33,900 below which you can uh, expect it to continue with the bearish momentum. Also look at this, see it is trying to retrace and if you consider this, if you connect the dots from here to here, you will find that even if it tries to retrace 34,350, 34,400 are the levels which it may try to sustain. So possibility is there that it can confine its movement for next few days or few hours in between these levels before it tries to give you a breakout. This is what I can see here on the charts at the same time breaking below 33,800. Consider this as a strong sharp bearish can be expected there. So you can buy today 34,050 and expect it to rise for 34,100 and beyond levels. The directional movement divergent and bearish it is trying to converge. Stock ISTK is bottom now trying to look upwards. The MACD is bearish and it is trying to it has seen the peak it is trying to converge the RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the daily charts on the daily charts similarly it has come back to the 20 period moving average there which is giving it a very good support so yes if you see probably uh, 33 950 900 levels yes below this zone certainly more bullishness can be seen so in fact you can take a sell entry somewhere below th uh, 20 period moving average at 33 950 but then expect 33 900 33 800 as the maximum support and below 33 800 you can expect another round of good drop so sell at 33 950 buy at 34 050 for this 100 points let's stay away from the uh Dow Jones trading and yes on the upside till 34 350 and 34 410 do not consider this as bullish. Beyond this zone only, you can expect that it may show you some little rise and it may turn up bullish again. So till the time it is trying to consolidate, let it do so. On the daily charts also, so far it was trading bullish. It is first time it has come back to so narrow levels and possibly a crossover can be seen. The stochastic is looking downwards. The MACD is trading bearish and divergent. See, it is increasingly bearish here. RSI trading comfortable. Considering this, you can sell at 33,950, buy at 34,050. In between these 100 points, do not trade on the upside till 34,350, 400. You have to stay cautious. And on the upside, 34,100 is the first target, 200 is the next target, and then 250, 300, 350, 400. These are the next targets. Beyond that, it is going to fly high. On the downside, you can sell at 33,950, uh, 33, but then expect 33,900 first resistance. 
3850 next resistance and then 3800 only and only if you see it trading below 33800 consider this as bearish and it may going to crash again take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss do not forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you